Do you know the legal description of your property? Welcome back to another fantastic episode of Title Tuesdays. My name is Kevin Thatcher, the founder and CEO here at Independence Title, also known as your Title King. I'm producing this video. I'm going to take you onto my computer in a second here because I want to explain to you how do you know what the real legal description of your property is. Here at Independence Title, in the title world, we don't really care necessarily about the property address. That's more for the post office to be able to receive mail or for your driver's license. We care about the legal description of your property. Every property in the state of Florida has a legal description. And what we see a common error sometimes is that the legal description that the realtors put on their contract or the legal description that investors or maybe people that are doing deals on their own, they fill out a quick claim deed, they're copying a legal description from the property appraiser's website and it's incorrect. It does not actually transfer the interest in the property. So take a look at my screen. I want you to pause the video for a second and go to this website, bcpa.net. It stands for the Broward County Property Appraiser.net. And right now you should be looking at the screen. You're gonna see here, bcpa.net, you're gonna see the home screen. And what I want you to do at the top left there, click property search. Property search is then gonna bring you to a tab. The tab in the center of the screen, I'd like you to select. We're gonna do two of them. In this case, I want you to select address. Now you're gonna come up to the property address and if you live in Broward County, you can put in your own address. But for the purposes of this video, I'm gonna type in our address here at the office. So 4700, the direction for street direction, I'm gonna put west. Then for street name, I want you to put prospect and then street type, we're gonna put road. Now remember, the more information you put, the more you're going to be able to narrow it down. And then for unit number, I want you to put 115, because that's suite number 115. And when you hit search, you see here, this is your property card for the actual property here. And what I want you to look at is where it says abbreviated legal description. This is the section that most commonly people are copying and pasting and putting it onto documents that are trying to transfer a legal interest in the property. And I want you to know that that is not the case. That is not where you should be copying. You can use this maybe for the purchase agreement. If for the realtors, you can copy the abbreviated legal description. But if you're gonna be preparing any type of legal documents or you need the specific legal description of the property, you wanna scroll down a little bit to where it says sales history. This is going to be all of the sales history of the property record. And you wanna look for a warranty deed and something that has a price. So in this case, we see June 2015, there was a warranty deed, $249,000, and you can click on the little link next to it, the number, and that is going to take you to the Broward County Public Records site. Now here you're going to be able to see the deed of the property, and right there in front of you, you're gonna see where it starts with a portion of lot 18. That is the full legal description of the property. So if you were preparing a quick claim deed or a land trust agreement or any a mortgage, anything that you need to secure an interest against the legal description of the property, that's what you're going to use. Now, let's hit the back arrow once and then go back up to the top here. And we're going to go back to the main page and try this one more time. So let's type up at the top here, bcpa.net. We're gonna hit property search. And this time I want you to select owner, owner name. We're gonna search by name and we're gonna just pick a common name. Let's search the name Jones, J-O-N-E-S. Now you see here, it's gonna pull up all of the people in Broward County that own property with the last name Jones. And we're just gonna pick the first one that shows up, 2800, right there, the first one, you're gonna click on it. And here you're gonna see a much shorter abbreviated legal description. And this one's important because that's usually what people are using, that short abbreviated one. On the previous one, it was still abbreviated, but it was a pretty lengthy one. This one is very short. It contains the subdivision, which is Somerset at Lauderdale Lakes. It's a condominium and it gives you the unit and the building number. This legal description cannot be used to transfer interest in real estate. It can only be used to maybe describe the property on your real estate contract or your listing agreement. But something very important is I want you to scroll down like we did on the last one and look at sales history. You see the box that says sales history? You see five deeds there. What I want you to realize is when you're searching for a legal description 
or what we call a root of title, you want to select a deed that has a price next to it. If you see the first one says $100, that's probably some type of quick claim deed, some type of interfamily transfer where there was no consideration paid, meaning there was no purchase price. So in this case, what I want you to do is not click on the first one, but you would click on the second one that says $70,000. And then you are going to see that the deed is going to pop up on your screen. And this, ladies and gentlemen, is where you are going to get the full legal description of the property. You see where it says Unit 101 in Building J of Somerset at Lauderdale Lakes Condominium. And then it goes on talking about the Declaration of Condominium recorded in an OR booking page. If you remember, the abbreviated legal did not have all of that detailed information. So you would not be able to transfer an interest in the property by using that. So as always, thanks for watching Title Tuesdays. I hope you enjoyed today's episode talking about navigating the legal description of your property. Not only the Broward property appraiser, but you can check all of the other counties. They all have very similar systems. You'll just follow along with the steps. If you need any help, as always, you can reach out to our office. We'll be happy to help you navigate that. This video came from a, of a local investor here that needed some help figuring out the full legal description because she even said she was confused. Do I use the one from the website? Do I use the one from the deed? What is the difference? So I wanted to produce this video for you. So thanks for watching. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe below. Subscribing to our YouTube channel is the best way to get notifications of all of our upcoming episodes. As always, thanks for watching, and I look forward to seeing you at the closing table.